Looks like some pretty standard loadouts from the, the team comps here. We do see that Tickle Monster bringing the CGC again. See if we can have another uh, 3k game like he did earlier. Maybe even some no more. No Adi from 404 was interesting because an Adi can be extremely effective on this map, especially a, a Conqueror GC, because all the heavy tanks are forced to be so clumped up and so grouped up that, that it's almost... You know, if you understand the, R the RNG of a CGC, if you've ever played one, you know that it's reasonably inaccurate. However, with the big clusters of tanks, it's almost impossible to miss. So, so a CGC is amazingly effective on this map. So we see uh, the defense, the defender here, uh, Relic Three, is, is doing kind of what I said. They haven't split into two groups yet, but there is still time. Um, they're gonna go towards that that number one area. They're getting ready to defend. We have 404 splitting. They're going opposite sides of the map. For now, um, it looks like 404 is definitely setting up to put pressure on the two boats. They're, they, uh, they're ignoring the number one cap, as, as I predicted. They've got these two E3s that are coming towards the east. Um, those guys are simply there to sort of be a thorn in Relic 3's side to stop them from flexing around, to sort of limit their movability. Um, meanwhile, 404 is grouping up with a whole bunch of, of heavies. I don't like E5s on this map, but both teams have fought lots of them. Um, the reason that they do is because of the heavy tanks, they are sort of the most maneuverable ones. Um, they have gun depression, so they're able to deal with the ramps, being able to shoot down off the elevated territory. Um, 404 is set up, they're, they're ready to attack. Um, they're going to be pushing those those E100s down into cap very shortly, and they're going to start that cap race, I imagine. The, no. the CGC gets a glorious hit in. 404 is pushing in. It looks like only one guy has committed, but he's calling for the rest of his bros to back him up. I know that feeling sometimes. Being the man with the sack, you got to go in. But it looks like the only two people here are the E5 and the E100 to receive this push. They're going to need the backup soon as we see it coming from the E5s behind them. As the rest of Relic 3 are... Look to be flanking these E3s and take those out. These things are a thorn in their side right now, but we are about to see a whole bunch of hurt coming in from the 8-9 line. As we see one E3 getting taken down to 365, he's getting work from both sides. Will the 215 be of Lime Killer clean him up? He does, he takes him out for 235. We're gonna see Toroama getting taken out he's left with 41 as now this opens up a nice flank for relic 3 on the 4 e100s of 404 but 404 is answering back with the e5s putting pressure on the e5 that we've seen earlier getting barbaric down to two percent hp that is 67 hp for those watching at home two percent just like the milky drinks he enjoys that hp as 404 is mounting a nice push, but they are putting themselves in a, a two-lane fire situation. As they do echelon around that corner, very nice. We're going to see the E100s. We have E-Race with 98 HP. He's going to get taken out from the right, from the Kool-Aid man. And the other... Relic 3 is getting on the cap to reset. That, that group that I mentioned, the second group, they went east and not west, and they've flexed ground, they've taken control of the cap, the, the cap pressure is off, we have very even sort of like tank counts here, but 404s, many of their tanks are sort of half health. Relic 3, despite them having only a couple more guns, have over double the health yep. that, uh, that 404 does. Now, they, they 404 around, will they have to get turned around easy. here. Have a potential to put Relic Three in the Relic same situation. Potentially winning a defense match on Ghost Town. Oh, as we see uh, the already hit Palo Mitor for 563. Very nicely done by the CGC. Trying to get Lime some extra gonna damage. Come around in. The corner. He's got the 50B. He's patting that WNA. Oh, Zinuex. Shoot the gun. Zinuex. 8 HP. Oh, and he gets taken out by Pit Fuasso. Oh. As there's now a 6k hey, man, HP advantage, right we have Lobo getting cleaned up, and that leaves nine, just nine, Pit nine 2. Now. It's 666 six, six, upside nine, down. Nine, nine. Is he gonna be a demon? Is he gonna and we have Loose Change bouncing. Change. He's gonna want to go back to the training tutorial. Oh, we have a defense win. I'm gonna have to eat my head. Oh. I didn't promise that I would if we saw a defender win on this map. Hopefully it's not sweaty. 
4-1 in this series. 404 has an amazing challenge ahead of them. This was this was 404's pick. 404 picked Ghost Town. They were confident on this map. I'm uh, I'm concerned. So shall we go to the map tactic? Pretty up, right? Pretty Let's up, pretty do up. it. There is actually there is an outline around the ready button 